Chapter Twenty Three. The burden of Tyre. How all ye ships of Tarshish, for it is laid waste, so that there is no house, no entering in. From the land of Chittim it is ruled to them. Be still, ye inhabitants of the Yule, how whom the merchants of Zidon had passe all o'er the sea, how replenished. And by great waters the seed of Sihar, the harrowest of the ruer, is her ruin you, and she is a mart of nations. Be thou ashamed, O Zidon, for the sea hath spoken, you in the strength of the sea, saying, I trawl not, nor bring forth children, neither do I nourish VP young men, nor bring VP virgins. As at the report concerning Egypt, so shall they be sorely pained at the report of Tyre. Passe ye o'er to Tarshish, how all ye inhabitants of the wily. Is this your oeous city, whose antiquity is of ancient days? Her own feet shall carry her affair off to Sorn. Who hath taken this counsel against Tyre the crowning city, whose merchants are princes, whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth? The Lord of hosts hath purposed it to stain the pride of all glory, and to bring into contempt all the honorable of the earth. Passe through thy land as a ruer, O daughter of Tarshish, there is no more strength. He stretched out his hand o'er the sea, he shook the kingdoms. The Lord hath you in a commandment against the merchant city to destroy the strongholds thereof. And he said, Thou shalt know Moriawis, O thou oppressed virgin, daughter of Sidon. Rise, passe o'er to Chittim, there also shalt thou how no rest. Behold the land of the Chaldeans, this people was not till the Assyrian founded it for them that dwell in the wilderness. They set VP the towers thereof, they raised VP the palaces thereof, and he brought it to ruin. How all ye ships of Tarshish, for your strength is laid waste. And it shall come to pass in that day, that Tyre shall be forgotten soon to years according to the days of one king. After the end of twenty years shall Tyre sing as an harlot. Take an harp, go about the city thou harlot, that hast been forgotten, make sweet melody, sing many songs, that thou mayest be remembered. And it shall come to pass after the end of twenty years, that the Lord will visit Tyre, and she shall turn to her hire, and shall commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. And her merchandise and her hire shall be holiness to the Lord. It shall not be treasured nor laid VP, for her merchandise shall for them that dwell before the Lord, to eat sufficiently, and for durable clothing. Chapter 24 Behold, the Lord maketh the earth in tie, and maketh it waste, and turneth it side down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be as with the people, so with the priest, as with the Sarawant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of shuri, so with the juror of shuri to him. The land shall be fturly emptied, and fturly spoiled, for the Lord hath spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fatteth away, the world languisheth and fatteth away, the haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled near the inhabitants thereof, because they how transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore hath the curse dured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry-hearted do sigh. The mirth of tabret ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the eye of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song, strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down, your house is shut vp, that no man may come in. There is a crying for wine in the streets, all eye is darkened, the mirth of the land is gone. In the city is left desolation, and the gate is smitten with destruction. When thus it shall be in the midst of the land among the people, there shall be as the shaking of an olu tree, 
and as the gleaning grapes when the vintage is done. They shall lift Phoebe their voice, they shall sing, for the majesty of the Lord, they shall cry aloud from the sea. Wherefore, glorify ye the Lord in the fires, you in the name of the Lord God of Israel in the eels of the sea. From the termost part of the earth how we heard songs, you in glory to the righteous. But I said, My leanness, my leanness, woven to me. The treacherous dealers how dealt treacherously, ye the treacherous dealers how dealt very treacherously. Fear and the pit and the snare are fond thee, O inhabitant of the earth. And it shall come to pass, eh, that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit, and he that cometh deep out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare, for the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. The earth is utterly broken down, the earth is clean dissolute, the earth is mowed exceedingly. The earth shall reel to and fro, like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage. And the transgression thereof shall be hoeve on it, and it shall fall, and not rise again. And it shall come to pass in that day, that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth. And they shall gather together as prisoners are gathered in the pit, and shall be shut VP in the prison. And after many days shall they be visited. Then the moon shall be confounded, and the sun ashamed, when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem, and before his ancients gloriously. Chapter 25 O Lord, Thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth, for thou hast made of a city, and heap of a defense city, a ruin, a palace of strangers, to be no city, it shall nor be built. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee, the city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. For thou hast been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm a shadow from the heat, when the blast of the terrible ones is as a storm against the wall. Thou shalt bring down the noise of strangers, as the heat in a dry place, you in the heat with the shadow of a cloud, the branch of the terrible ones shall brought low. And in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make fin to all people a feast of fat things, a feast of wines on the lees, of fat things full of marrow, of wines on the lees well refined. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the cowering cast o'er all people, and the veil that is spread o'er all nations. He will swallow VP death in victory, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from off our faces. And the rebuke of his people shall he take away from off all the earth, for the Lord hath spoken it. And it shall be said in that day, Lo, this is our God, we have waited for him. And he will saw verses. This is the Lord, we have waited for him, we will be glad, and ray us in his salutation. For in this mountain shall the hand of the Lord rest, and Moab shall troden down under him, you and straw is troden down for the downfill, and he shall spread forth his hands in the midst of them, as he that swimmeth spreadeth forth his hands to swim, and he shall bring down their pride together with the spoils of their hands, and the fortress of the high fort of thy walls shall he bring down, Lay low, and bring to the ground, you into the dust. Chapter 26 In that day shall this song be sung in the land of Judah. We how a strong cities, salutation will God appoint for walls and bulwarks. Open ye the gates, that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in. Thou wilt keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord for your, for in the Lord Iahuah is your lasting strength. For he bringeth down them that dwell on high. The lofty city he layeth it low. He layeth it low, you into the ground. He bringeth it you into the dust. The foot shall treat it down, you in the feet of the poor, and the steps of the needy. The way of the just is frightness, thou most fright, dost weigh the path of the just. Yea, in the way of thy judgments, O Lord, how we waited for thee. The desire of our soul is to thy name, and to the remembrance of thee. With my soul how I desired thee in the night, 
yea, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. Let for be shewed to the wicked, yet will he not learn righteousness. In the land of brightness will he deal justly, and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Lord, when thy hand is lifted VP, they will not see, but they shall see, and be ashamed for their inui at the people. Yea, the fire of thine enemies shall endure them. Lord, thou wilt ordain peace for verses, for thou also hast wrought all our works in verses. O Lord our God, other lords besides thee how had dominion o'er verses, but by thee only will we make mention of thy name. They are dead, they shall not loo, they are deceased, they shall not rise. Therefore hast thou visited and destroyed them, and made all their memory to perish. Thou hast increased the nation, O Lord, thou hast increased the nation, thou art glorified. Thou hast removed it far then to all the ends of the earth. Lord, in trouble how they visited thee, they parred out a prayer when thy chastening was upon them. Like as a woman with chill that draweth near the time of her delirium is in pain and crieth out in her pangs. So how we been in thy sight, O Lord! We how been with chilled, we how been in pain, we how as it were brought forth wind. We how not wrought any deliverance in the earth, neither how the inhabitants of the world fallen. Thy dead men shall loo together with my dead body shall they arise, awake and sing ye that dwell in dust. For thy dew is as the dew of herbs, and the earth shall cast out the dead. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment, until the indignation be our past. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood, and shall no more cower her slain. Chapter 27 In that day the Lord with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Luith in the piercing serpent. You and Luith in that crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. In that day, sing ye then to her a vineyard of red wine. I, the Lord, do keep it, I will water it every moment, lest any hurt it, I will keep it night and day. Fury is not in me, who would set the briars and thorns against me in battle. I would go through them, I would burn them together. Or let him take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. He shall cause them that come of Jacob to take root. Israel shall blossom and bud, and fill the face of the world with fruit. Hath he smitten him, as he smote those that smote him? Or is he slain according to the slaughter of them that are slain by him? In measure when it shooteth forth, thou wilt debate with it, he stayeth his rough wind in the day of the east wind. By this therefore shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged, and this is all the fruit, to take away his sin, when he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones, that are beaten in sunder. The grooves and images shall not stand VP, yet the defensed city shall be desolate, and the habitation forsaken, and left like a wilderness. There shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down, and consume the branches thereof. When the buffets thereof are withered, they shall be broken off. The women come and set them on fire, for it is a people of no understanding. Therefore he that made them will not have mercy on them, and he that formed them will shew them no for. And it shall come to pass say in that day, that the Lord shall beat off from the channel of the roar of Entod the stream of Egypt. And ye shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. And it shall come to pass say in that day, that the great trumpet shall be blowing, and they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria, and the outcasts in the land of Egypt, and shall worship the Lord in the holy mount at Jerusalem.